Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial in the Cocos 2DX C++ version 3 tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at scaling using the scale by method. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 5. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description to the source code or you can just implement it directly into your own project. Also, there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. So it's going to go ahead and open up the project. Then once it's open, you just want to go to your Hello World scene or whatever layer you're going to add it to. And we're just going to do auto action equals scale by colon colon create. First, we just specify the duration. So I'm going to specify 3 seconds. Then we specify the scale factor. I'm going to specify 3. Semicolon. Now we just run this action. So my spray. Run action, action, semicolon. Now we can just run this application. Now we're over a period of three seconds, it's going to scale by three, so it's going to get a three times larger in the x and the y axis. So there you go. You might be thinking, maybe well, I just want to scale it x a certain amount and the y certain amount. That's simple. You put a comma and then you put another scale factor. I'm going to put 0.25. So this scale is 0 0.25 in the y axis, 3 in the x axis over a period of 3 seconds. And so now if you run this, There you go, it's gone really, really wide, really. It's just squashed a lot. So what is scale by? Well, basically, it allows you to scale an object or an item, like a sprite in this instance, to a certain amount relative to what its current scale factor is. So if I were to do a sequence of actions, and maybe do this type of action four times, it will literally do it four times. So you'll get really, really thin, and you'll get really, really stretched out in the x-axis. In the next tutorial, we want to cover scale two, which just scales to a particular scale factor relative to what its original scale factor was. So if you were to run scale two, then a four times, five times in a sequence, it wouldn't make a difference. So that's the difference. And like I said, in the next tutorial, we're going to look at scale two. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description. Also, there'll be links in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial and the base code that was used. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.